Hi, brother teacher here. I would like to talk to you, uh, hopefully for just a brief moment, but I want to get my point across about what it's like to be sovereign. What exactly is sovereignty? What is a sovereign person, man, woman, and child? There's been some controversy over the years about what this term actually implies, what it is. And I want to shed some light as I overstand what it is. First of all, I've uh, been aware over the past several years that there has been a group or a movement called the Sovereign Citizens or Sovereign Citizens Movement. Now, this has misrepresented the notion of being a sovereign man, woman, or child in that many of these instances where these people have touted being a sovereign citizen they have in fact broken the law they've caused, excuse me, they've caused confusion they have threatened uh, law enforcement and other individuals all for the sake of saying that they are sovereign citizens. This is not who I am. This is not what a true sovereign is. You do not harm your fellow man. You do not issue threats. You do not commit violence. Unnecessary violence. You are an individual of peace, of reason. Now, of course, I'm not espousing you allow anyone, any, any interlopers or anyone to cause you harm because you would have to protect yourself if someone did that. That's just normal procedure for any living human being to not allow someone to harm them or their families and maybe even their neighbors. But just for the sake of saying that you're a sovereign citizen, you are going to break laws, that's not proper. That's inappropriate. So let me tell you what a sovereign actually is. A sovereign is what we all are when we are born into this world. What it implies is that we are living, breathing, sentient beings, human beings, man, woman, child, male, female, in that we are endowed with rights at birth from our Creator. Natural rights, inalienable rights, rights that cannot be taken away by any other human being, organization, company, corporation, what have you. Deity, it doesn't matter. No one can take away what God, the Creator, Yahweh, has given us at birth. We were endowed with freedom when we were born. That is not to say that you abuse those rights and or freedoms that you're born with. As long as you don't harm another human being, you are okay. So, what are those rights? I have a right to speak my mind. I have a right to pursue happiness. Now, I'm using myself as the example, but I'm speaking to anyone out there listening to me. You have a right to speak your mind and to pursue happiness, to create, to build, to have a family, to expand your existence as long as you are not harming another. That's what being sovereign is. Now, conversely, no one outside of you, I don't care who it is, has a right to take away your natural rights as a human being. No one can tell you that you can't go to this particular college, that you cannot marry this particular person, or that they will put restrictions on where you can go and what you can like or what you can enjoy in life. 
No one has that right. They never had that right. They only have a semblance of having that right and or position if we give it to them. It is such thing, and many of us have seen it in the court system, the so-called judicial system, where people give up their rights. You should never give up that which God gave you freely. You are sovereign. We've been abused by the system, the system of government, the system of politics, the system of religion, and so on ever since we came into this world and it is until we come to ourselves come to our senses and become consciously aware of who we are we will continue to be not free I am free but let me tell you this before I leave being free in the world in which we live today is not an easy thing it does not come without a cost, without a price. Because the world in which we live in is actually evil. It is a manipulative system of government that we are in. Our rights have been stripped of us and from us. And they have been replaced with what they call privileges. Go figure that. How can you give someone a privilege when you have a right that your creator gave you? You give it to those individuals, those organizations, those corporations. You give it to them by consent. So I'm going to say what an a old radio host used to always have as his sort of moniker and his calling card. Wake up America. That's what I want to say to you. Wake up. And if you're beyond America, wherever you are on the planet, wake up. No one controls you. No one can take your freedoms, your God-given freedoms, away from you. Only you can give up those freedoms. Now, there's an old expression. If you don't stand for something... You'll fall for anything. What are you standing for today? What principles are you standing on? What is your foundation as a man or woman? Everything that comes by you, every whim, everything that blows by you in society, every, uh, what is that expression, fad, and everything that seems to be popular, are you following that? because someone else is doing it question everything ladies and gentlemen question it and have no issue with questioning it stand up to power because many men in position today have their power because they took it away from the people this country that we love so dear called America was originally supposed to be up for and by the people but it's been taken over by politicians, by lawyers, by cricket judges, and by bankers, international and domestic. By real estate companies and insurance companies. And the list does go on. We need to take back our sovereignty. We need to realize that nothing exists without the people's permission and consent. Stop letting these evil people, these organizations, these corporations take over our lives, overtaxing us as people, taking our children away from us, over medicating us when we don't need it because the pharmaceutical companies are making billions and even trillions of dollars off of pharmaceutical drugs. The food industry is putting poisons in our food and our water. And we're consuming it and we're a nation of sick people. The hospitals are overcharging us and our insurance companies for basic fundamental care. 
they are suggesting surgeries and medications and chemotherapy and radiation for things that we can cure ourselves if we just changed our lifestyle. Do you get where I'm coming from? So my question to you before I leave. Are you a puppet? Following every whim, every doctrine that comes your way and accepting it just because someone says so. Just because someone says that I'm your governor, I'm your, your lawyer, I'm your judge, I'm your president, I'm your preacher, I'm whoever. Just because they say it, you're just accepting it. You're buying it without challenging anything, their doctrine, their rules, their regulations, their statutes, their ordinances, their policies, their procedures. You don't challenge any of that. Then maybe you deserve to be a slave. But when you peel back the layers and start seeing things for what they really are, maybe you'll find out that you actually were born sovereign. But the real question is, do you have the gumption? Do you have the guts? Do you have the internal strength, the intestinal fortitude to stand on your principles? and be sovereign no matter what the possible outcome could be. I want you to think on this. So my question as I part, are you sovereign? This is Brother Teacher.